How you doing there? <clears throat> Welcome back to Babylon Tom. Today we're studying Daf Fifth. Hmm. Trevor, what Daf should we study today? Should we take a vote? Should we take a vote? Daf Kuf Chaf Ches, Daf 128 of Masech the Bava Basra. For eons. Okay. Okay. So Beetzim, what happens on today's Daf stays on today's Daf. Okay. What happens on today's Daf is. Um, we're going to see all of these statements by by Rabbi Abba to Rabbi Yosef by Chama. Rabbi Yosef by Chama, I believe it's Rabbi Yosef. I believe it's Rabbi Yosef. So we're going to see all these statements of Rabbi Abba to Rabbi Yosef. And uh, that's what we're going to do. We bet some Paskin like most of them, like almost all of them. Okay. Shalach Rabbi Abba to Rabbi Yosef by Chama. So we're on the Kuf Chav Zayinam with Beis, two lines from the bottom. So Rabbi Uwa, somebody's here. So, um, Rabbi Abba sends to Rabbi Yosef by Choma, Ha'omer l'chaveroi, if somebody says to his friend, Avdi gonavd, so Shimon says to Reuven, Hey Reuven, you stole my Evid. Ve'omer loy gonavdi, and Reuven says, did not. Mati vo'etz l'cha, so Shimon says, well then, why do you have my Evid? Ata machartoli, ata nasatoli, b'maton, Reuven says, what do you mean? Why do I have your evidence? First of all, it's not your evidence. It's my evidence. You sold the evidence to me. You gave, you gifted the evidence to me. So now, um, Reuven says something very interesting. Because, um, look, Reuven has this evidence. Shimon is claiming that it's his. Reuven has the evidence. Reuven can get right. What's my chaveri all of our right? You know, if Shimon uh, claims that it's his evidence, he needs to bring proof. But so, 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 you know, maker it in, Reuven can keep the evidence. But then Reuven says something very interesting. Shimon, if you want, swear that you're telling the truth, that it's your evidence, take him. Which is interesting because Ruvain has no so he doesn't need to say that. He could just say goodbye and good luck and, and, and keep the evidence. But he says, you know what, if you want, if you're telling the truth, if you really think that this is your evidence, swear that it's your evidence, take your evidence. Vinishba. And sure enough, Shimon does just that. He swears that the evidence is his evidence. So Okay, well, Reuven told him, Reuven said to Shimon, swear that it's your Evid and take the Evid. So, that's it. The Evid is now Shimon's. And Reuven cannot say, wait, 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 wait. He can't do that. Too late. He already said, swear and take the Evid. So, if Shimon swears, he takes the Evid. Michael Maj Malon, Tonina. The Gemara says, okay, but what's the big Chiddush over here? We already know this from a Mishnah. A Mishnah in Sanhedrin. Oh, we're getting to Sanhedrin. Soon, and this taka is only about a month into, a few weeks into Sanhedrin. Perek Zeboirer. We learn in the Mishnah, Amulo, Nemon Ole Abba, Nemon Ole Avicho, Nemon Ole Shloisha Roye Boker. Right, that when it comes to uh, um, uh, judges, so it's Zebor Echod, Vezebor Echod, Vishneim Borun Od Echod, or something like that. That basically each litigant chooses one of the judges. So now, of course, somebody's father cannot be a Judge, he's, he's, a, he's a relative. But if Ruvain says, look, um, you know, uh, it, it's okay, you know, you know, we can, you know, it, uh, it's all right if my father is a, a, a judge here, I accept his ruling, and even if he rules against me, um, we will, we will, we will do that. Okay? Or, yeah, yeah. So, I think. So Tanina, so Amar lo Neman Ale Abba, right? It's okay, I, you know. I will, you know, so, uh, I'm, I'll accept my father's jurisdiction upon me. Neman Ale, even though even though Meikar didn't, uh, the father cannot be a judge. Neman Ale Ovicha, or your father. Neman Ale Shlosha Roye Bakar, or these three uh, uh, shepherds, who I guess are not big Tamni Chacham. So Reb Meir Omer. Or maybe even, is there a different issue that they're like, Shina, yeah, okay, it shouldn't have became Bidin. Okay. Oh, yeah, exactly. And then the Rashbam says, Vroitzon lo nakat, ah, lo nakat, a Vroitzon lo nakat, Mishim der Shaim, right? Vroitzon would be Rashaim. But Vroit Bakr, uh, they're just not the biggest Tamil Chacham. Okay. Fine. So Rameir, Rameir says Rameir, Yochol Achzabo. Look, if it turns out 
you know, if uh, Reuben says, look, it's, uh, you know, I accept my father's jurisdiction, then his father rules against him. So Reb Meir says, look, he could be Choser, right? Because after all, his father is not a valid judge for him. But the Chacham say, no, once he accepts, even though he doesn't, you know, even though make her a din, um, his father wouldn't, uh, you know, can't be a judge. But if he says that I accept my father's ruling and his father rules against him, he has to accept that. He can't say, wait, 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 my father can't judge me. He already accepted his father as a judge. So therefore, I know th- that the same thing should apply over here, that if make her a din, Shimon doesn't swear and Reuben doesn't owe Shimon anything. But if Reuven says, look, I accept that if you swear that it's your Evid, you can take the Evid. Well, once he commits, he commits. How come Ashman, the Chiddush here is, the Be'etin Lach, Machlokas, Valocha, Kedibe, Chacham. The Chiddush over here, what this, what our scenarios come to teach with Reuven and Shimon um, and the um, and the Evid, what it's uh, coming to say is that the Machlokas between uh, Reb Meir and the Chachamim, about when he accepts the jurisdiction of his father is when 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 the litigant says I accept to the extent that I am going to pay you that if my father rules against me I will pay you the money just like over here you know if you swear I will give you the evit that is where there's machlokas between um, Reb Meir and the Chacham Sholach lei Reb Abba Reb Yosef Bachom Reb Abba sends to Reb Yosef Bachom Halacha Govim and Avod the Halacha is that if a father passes away and he had a debt that he needs to repay, so the law is that the that the uh, uh, lender, the malve, can collect from property from from the property of the estate. So says Rab, um, where am I? So shalachle Rab Abel Rab Yosef Bar Chama Allah Chagod Min Avodim that just like the malve can collect from the estate, he can also collect from. Avodim, because Avodim are like karke. Rav Nachman Omer ain't govim. Rav Nachman says, no, you cannot collect from Avodim. You can collect from only property, not from Avodim. Avodim considered like karke in terms of kinyonim, right? Um, and, and some other details, but not um, but not with regard to being able to collect from an Evid, because an Evid has a mind of his own. He can do his own things. And he's not considered karke to the extent that a... Um, Malva would be able to collect from the Evid if the uh, borrower dies. Um, now, in this case, we talk don't hold like Rav Abba um, over here. Rather, we hold like Rav Nachman. We're going to get that to the end of the daf today. That Ein um, Gov. Okay. Fine. Shalach le Rav Abba le Rav Yosef Bar Chome. Rav Abba sends to Rav Yosef Bar Chome. Halachit. Shlishi Besheni Kosher. Uh huh. So, okay. So, if you have Reuven and Shimon, our brothers, and then Reuven has a son, Chanoch. Now, I was saying the other day that I Chanoch seems to just be a completely random name. I don't remember if I even said this already. But my father corrected me. And he says that actually Chan- Reuven had a son, Chanoch. And I was learning, I've been reading uh, uh, Parshish Bresh. There's actually uh, like a thousand Chanochs. Kain had a son, Chanoch. Lemech had a son Chanoch. Reuven has a son Chanoch. So there's lots of Chanochs. Um, anyways, so Reuven and Shimon are brothers. Reuven has a son Chanoch. Shimon has a son Yemuel. Yemuel. Okay. So Reuven and Shimon cannot be, um, uh, what was this, witnesses? Or, uh, where am I? Um, where am I? Where am I? Where am I? Where am I? She's with the Ha'id to be ten, uh, witnesses. They would be considered relatives. They can't be witnesses. Reuben and Shimon are brothers. Um, also, Chanoch and Yemuel are first cousins. They also can't be. They can't testify together. However, however, Shalach Lei, Reb Abba, Reb Yosef Bar Chomo, Reb Abba, since Reb Yosef Bar Chomo. Wait, did I skip? Yeah. Haloch uh, Shlishi B'Sheni Kosher. But um, uh, um, Chanoch's son can testify together with Yemuel, his uncle, uh, his first cousin once removed. He would be able to, they would They would be able to testify together. Rav Amr says, Rav Aparishon. Additionally, um, Chanoch would also be able to testify with uh, Shimon. That would also be acceptable. But not Ruvain with Shimon, not Chanoch with Yemuel. Uh, Chanoch's son can testify with Yemuel. He can also testify with Shimon. 
my Bravashi Achshu Ba'aba the Abba, my Bravashi said that Chanoch, the Chanoch's son can even testify with Chanoch's father, with his great, right? That Chanoch's son can testify with his grandfather, uh, meaning Chanoch's son's grandfather, Chanoch's father, Reuven. Vele silks like my Bravashi, but the Allah is not like my Bravashi because, uh, you know, a, 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 a Pnei Bonim Marein Kibonim. That uh, you know, a grandfather cannot testify together with his uh, grandchild. Shalach le Reb Abba the Reb Yosef by Chome Reb Abba sent to Reb Yosef. By Chome Yode loy beedus karko ad shelo nistima. If a person knew testimony about a property, about what the you know uh, 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 borders of the property are, vinistima. But then he became uh, blind. Possible. So now he's possible because he can't testify. Because he's blind. Shmuel Shmuel says, no, he can testify. Because what does he ask? He has to know. He has to know that the you know he doesn't have to see anything as long as he knows in his head where the property ends. He could say the property ends, you know, by this landmark and that landmark. I mean, if he knows where they are, he knows where they are. Right? He could, he could still kind of uh, direct you to where the borders are. Aval glima lo. But you would be unable to testify about a garment. For Rav Sheshis, who was actually blind, says um, that he can even testify about a garment. As long as he knows what the length and width of the garment is, that's fine, even if he's blind. I will nask alone, but not an ingot. Remember what an ingot is? I think a naska is an ingot. Remember what an ingot is? I think it's like a block of gold or silver or something. Rav Papa says even an ingot... Um, uh, because he uh, could still say, look, this is how much it weighs. I know that this is how much it weighs. Um, so he doesn't need eyesight for that. We have a kasha. If you have a person who knew testimony, but then he ends up marrying the daughter of the person who he knows testify about. So now he's his son-in-law. Uh, where am I? So he knows that, uh, so he knows testimony before he became the son-in-law. Now he's his son-in-law. Pikeach when it's or if he was, he knew about testimony when he was a when he was a wise guy, when he was a smart guy. When it's chayish, but then but then he became a chayish. He lost his essentially he lost his intelligence. Pikeach when or he was he had vision and then he became blind. Shafoy when or again he you know similar to pikeach when it's he 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 was clear headed and then he became a shot. In all these cases, possible of all, but hayodea lo beedus ad shelo nasa chasanu. But if he um, knew testimony before he married the daughter, benaisa chasanu, and then he married the daughter, umesa bito. But then the daughter died, so he's no longer the son-in-law. Pikeach when eschayish v'chazuk when eschayish. Or if he was a smart guy, and he became a cherish, but then became a smart guy again. Pikeach v'nistam v'chazuk v'niftoch. Or he. Um, 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 uh, was able to see, then he became blind, but then was able to see once again. A person was clear headed, then became a shota, but then he became clear headed once again. Kosher, so in all those scenarios, <coughs> he would be a kosher witness. Zaklad is the rule, kosher. That if at any point he's possible, then he's possible. Right? If he started out blind, or if he started out unblind, but became blind, it is possible. But if he was initially unblind, but then became blind, but then became unblind again, or you know, or clear headed and foolish and clear headed, well then kosher. Then it is kosher. Two of the duchul, two of the sefer. It's a kasha on all of them. It's a kasha on uh, Shmuel, Rav Sheshes, Rav Papa, because they had all said that um, he would. Have, right, if you have a person who was able to see, but then became blind, he would be able to testify about a uh, property. Everyone agrees, right? Shmuel said he could testify about a property, just not a garment. Right, uh, Rav Sheshi says no, a property and a garment, but not an ingot. And Rav Papa says a property, a garment, and an ingot. Right, I think it was Rav Papa, yeah. So, 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 so they're all saying that the a person who is able to see them became blind can testify. But Rav was saying no, if at any point he was possible, he became possible. So then he was or became possible. So then he can't testify. So it's a kasha on all of them. Shalach Rav Abba, Rav Yosef, Rav Chomer, Rav Abba sends to Yosef, Rav Chomer, Omer Al Tinoik. That if a person says about a baby, Atinok bin Abonim, somebody who says about a baby among the cho- among the sons, Neman is believed. Rabbi Yochanan Omer Eino Neman. Rabbi Yochanan says he's not believed. My karma. What is this? Rabbi Yosef, Rabbi Abba says he's believed. Rabbi Yochanan says he's not believed. What are we talking about? 
Amar Abayi says, Abayi, Ochi, comment is what it's saying. Ha-Omer al-Tinok ben Abonim Yirosh kon Chosai that if a person says that one of my sons is going to inherit all of my property, my entire estate, Nemon, could be Yochim ben Broka. That's acceptable, like Rabbi Yochim ben Broka that we're going to learn in two days from now on the Afkuflam. Rabbi Yochim Omer eno Nemon kira Abonim. Whereas Rabbi Yochim says, um, no, he can't, right? It's Masna Mashkos He can't say that uh, one of my sons is going to inherit all my entire estate. Uh, what do you mean? There's halachos of Yerushan. It's divided among all the kids. So, um, so Rabbi Yochan says that's not a lot. But in fact, the Gemara, Maskev, Rovi, Hai Nehman, Ve'enu Nehman, Yerush, Velo Yerush, Mi Why does it say believed and not believed? It's a matter of he can inherit all the property or he can't inherit all the property. The verb here is not believe or not believe. It's inherit or not inherit. So... Oh, what do you guys think? You hear the kasha? The kasha is if the bread should go in the freezer. Take it back? Ah, maybe they're going to take it back with them. Interesting discussion. Hmm. I wonder what the maskan is. Hello, my rubber. Rather, this is rubber. Okay, come out. Oh, my Altino, Ben Abonim. Um, that if somebody says about a, uh, a, a a baby among the children that he's the Bechor, Nehman Kabuta is believed like Kabuta, Rabbi Yochanan Omar, Eno Nehman Kabuta, Rabbi Yochanan says he's not believed like the rabbis. We saw, I believe we saw this yesterday, right? Yeah. That uh, if uh, there's a Chazoko, that one of the children is the Bechor, but the father says, no, this one's the Bechor, so Rabbi Yochanan says he's believed, and that's what Rabbi is saying, the Rabbi says he's not believed, that's what Rabbi Yochanan is saying. Azoi. Shalach le Rabab le Yisip Bachoma, but since the Yisip Bachoma, Omer Titol Ishti Keechel Min Abonim, that my wife will take together with uh, the rest of my children, right? So, so uh, we'll divide up. We'll include uh, my wife when we divide up the uh, estate. No tells Keechel Min Abonim, also she can do that. Of Rav says Rav, when Chosim Shal Achshav, but that would only include the uh, uh, property that he has right now. The estate in its current form, she would be able to, uh, you know, receive a portion of. And also, if they end up having more children, well, then those children would also be included in the division. Okay, so all the children at the time of the death would be included in the division, and um, only the property at the time of the statement would be um, included, but not anything that would come after that. Rabbi sends to Yosef by Choma Motzi Shtarchoy Val Chaver. It's an interesting scenario. It gets a little bit tricky, I think. It gets like weird. I don't know. It's kind of weird, I think. But anyways, Motzi Shtarchoy Val Chaver. Shimon takes out a document that he lent money to Reuven, a hundred dollars. Malva Melon Efrati Klum. Shimon says, I wasn't paid back at all. I'm owed a hundred dollars. Velova Meparati Mechzo. And Reuven says, I uh, paid you back. 50, I paid you back 50 bucks already. And listen to what happens. Right? So remember, Shimon, the lender, says, you owe me 100. Reuven says, I paid you 50 already. The Adam Eden Chapar Kulo now actually come witnesses and say, what do you mean? Actually, the loan has been paid in its entirety. Reuven has paid back the entire $100. So I raise a Nishba Vagova Mechzo Min Chosim Penechorin about Mishadim Lo. So the halacha is, well, Reuven was more than a mikzas, right? Shimon says, you owe me a hundred dollars. Reuven says, I paid you 50 already. I only owe you 50. So it's more than a And as we know from Mesechta, uh, but Metziah, from other places, more than a mikzas, a tiny yeshava, that uh, he needs to swear. Even though witnesses then came afterwards and said, what do you mean? Reuven, you paid back the whole thing. So you have witnesses testifying that the whole thing was paid. Still, once he was more than a mikzas, he has to swear. So, okay, so you owe Shimon 50 bucks. Now, what if Reuben doesn't have the 50 bucks? So Shimon can go and, and collect from property, right? But we're saying, though, however, he would only be able to collect from property that Reuben has, right? If Reuben, however, had sold property, Shimon cannot collect from the buyers. But he cannot collect from the buyers, the army, because they're going to say, that look, you know, the buyers are going to say, wait, one second. I mean, there were witnesses who testified that the loan was paid back. I mean, we're going to go with what the witnesses said and uh, assume that it was paid back. Don't don't come to us. There are witnesses who are saying that you're not owed anything. Um, so therefore, um, when Ruvain swears his mother makes us and he has to pay half of it, Shimon can only collect from 
property that Reuben has, not from property that, that has been sold to anybody else. This is where it gets a little, a little uh, funny. That okay, there's a machloikis and shnei moichs and betalos. It's a very very difficult pair. That if um, that if um, let, let's just say Reuben and Shimon. So Shimon takes out a uh, document that says you owe me zuzis. Doesn't say how many. But you owe me zuzis. Now Shimon claims we're talking about five zuzis. Reuben says no. We're talking about three zuzis. So now the thing is, again, it doesn't say five zuzes ex- explicitly. It just says zuzes. Now the minimum of zuzes is two. So really, all, all, all the document says really is that Reuben owes two zuzes. But he said, I owe you three zuzes. Okay. So, now even according to a Bekiva who said, Meshiv Aveda Have, that in that case with the three zuzes, it would not be considered Modem and Mikzas. And Ruvain would not have to swear because ultimately Ruvain only owes two zuzes, and that third one is considered just a, um, you know, a Shavas Aveda. And um, therefore, he doesn't have to swear. But but that's only when there are no witnesses that, that we would consider to be a Shavas Aveda. But over here in this scenario, so this is like kind of funny. We say, right, ir, ir tu say irtas. We say that, well, Ruvain knew that witnesses were coming, but he didn't know what they were going to testify. He was going to test, were they going to testify for him or against him? Were they going to testify that it was all paid back, which is what they ended up testifying? But maybe they're going to testify against him that it wasn't paid at all. So he was kind of getting nervous and saying, you know what, I'm just going to say that I, that, that, that I already paid back half of it. Um, and therefore, it's not considered like uh, 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 he's doing a Shavas Aveda over here. Uh, he's just like trying to, I don't know, get nervous and cover his tracks. And therefore, he's molded by Mikzas and, and he has to, um, he has to, uh, he has to swear. Okay. Maska for my Baravashi. My Baravashi argues as Adrav, Fakert. Avidu Reb Shimon ben Elazar, even according to Reb Shimon ben Elazar, the Amr molded Mikzas Atayna, who says in the case of the three Zuzes, that Reuben would be molded mikzas and he would have to swear. Have and That's only because there were no witnesses over there. That's why he has to swear. He's molded mikzas. I'm sorry. There are no witnesses there to support him. But in this case, there were witnesses who were saying that Reuben paid back the, the debt in full already. So therefore, you know, you would, would not have to not be considered more the mixed house, would be considered Meshiv Aveda and, and you would not have to swear. Okay, but we said though that the Allah is, we said that Rabbi Abba had said to Rabbi Yosef Bar that he would have to swear. Okay. Fine. Darish Marzutra Mishmedi Rabbi Shimi Bar Ashi. Marzutra expounded the name of Rabbi Shimi Bar Ashi. Hilch Sabuchola and Ishmaitza, Kedisholach Rabbi Abba, the Rabbi Yosef Bar So the Allah is like Rabbi Abba in all of these. Scenarios that uh, Rebbe sent to Rav Yosef Bar Chama. I'm the Ravina the Ravashi, the Rav Nachman Mai. So Ravina says to Ravashi, but what about what about um, what about Rav Nachman? Because we says as Rashban points out that the Allah is like Rav Nachman bedine when it comes to dinim, and um, the Allah right we had said earlier one of the statements of Rav Abba was that. Uh, a a a a uh, malve can collect from the avodim of the love from the estate, but Rav Nachman had said he can't. So do we even pass him like Rav Abba there? So Amale, so Ravashi responds, "Ain govin masninala." No, uh, Rav Abba did not say that the malve can collect from the avodim. He says he cannot collect from the avodim. Bechain on Rav Nachman, and so said Rav Nachman. Rav Nachman said that as well. Okay, so when uh, we're saying that the Alocha is like Rav Abba, um, the Alocha is like Rav Abba, okay, to exclude which opinion? If it's to exclude Rav, right, that uh, the Rav Abba had said in the scenario where uh, Hanoch's son could be a uh, witness together with Yemuel and Rava came to say that Hanoch's son can even be a witness with Shimon 
Well, Mosifu, he was just adding, he wasn't disagreeing. He, they, were, they were in agreement about that. And if we're going to say the Mar Bar Ravashi, Mar Bar Ravashi on that same sugya had said that uh, Reuven cannot testify, uh, can testify with his grandson. But Leisuchsuk Mar Bar but th- th- that's not, we, we don't paskin like Mar Bar Ravashi. My uh, grandfather cannot testify with his grandson. And if we're going to say, well, it's like my uh, Ravashi, and it's not like Shmuel Rav Sheshis and Rav Papa with the blind person testifying, well, we, we, already had, we already had rejected that from a Bryson. Rather, it's to exclude the opinion of Rabbi Yochanan when it came to, uh, we, uh, to Rabbi Abba had said that a father is believed to say that. Um, that his son is the Bechor, even though there's a Chazaka that a different son is the Bechor, like Rabbi Yehuda, not like um, Rabbi Yochanan and the Rabbanon. And, when we ask after the Mar Bravashi, as well as in the scenario of um, where Shimon said he's owed $100, Reuben says he pays him half, and then there's the witness. So we said that Reuben has to um, swear, and he, and it's not like Mar Bravashi had, had asked to say that no, it should be considered like Ashova Saved and you shouldn't have to swear. No, he does have to swear. So to exclude the opinion of Mar Bravashi there. Um, all right, that was that Kuf Chof Ches of Masech the Baba. So we had a bunch of just halachas of Rabbi Abba that he said to Rabbi Yosef that we tend to, that we paskin like. And uh, peace out.